guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I've been asked a few times, um, is it important to clean your PC laptop? And if so, how, how do you clean it properly? And I'm not just talking about wiping it down on the outside, I'm talking about internally as well. So today I'm gonna go through both sides of that, um, just to show you guys how I do it. Um, I've got a friend who works at like a, a repair shop and I, I reached out to him and said, look, how often do you think it's worthwhile cleaning your PC or laptop? Uh, and he recommends once every six months. So my laptop is about that age. So I'm gonna clean on the outside, show you guys how to do that. And then I'm gonna take the back cover off and see what it looks like on the inside. I mean, specifically, we're going to be looking at the fans because that's the most important thing we want to keep clean and free of dust and stuff. So we'll uh, we'll take that off, have a look, and we'll go from there. Okay, so when it comes to just cleaning the outside, I just use these little wipes, just computer wipes. Um, they're kind of like an alcoholic type wipe. So they're pretty good for just getting all little marks and they pick up the dust really easy. So wipe over that and then I usually just go over that again just with a nice dry cloth and uh, that's it done. On the outside I usually do at least like once a week but yeah that's all the dust and marks gone and then I'm going to do a keyboard next. Now best thing you should do really is just Turn everything off before you clean it. Just to be on the safe side, you should be all right just wiping down anyway, but I'd just recommend turning everything off first. And then once it's turned off, you're good to go. Yeah. Has picked up quite a bit of dust to be fair. And then just to get that over with You can go over it again with a screen, but just when you do the screen, just be very gentle. You don't want to push too hard. Get all the little smudges off. Maybe go over the little camera. That'll do. And then gently move dry cloth again. there. Outside done, that's nice, quick and easy. Um, next thing we're going to do the inside and we're going to use this little can of compressed air to just blow all the dust out but I'll show you guys how that works when we get the back off. Okay so now the outside is done I'm going to show you guys how to have a look on the inside just to see if there's any build up of dust that you want to clean out or get rid of. Okay, so pretty much got the cover off. And first thing you really want to look at is the fans. Now, this laptop's only about six months old and you can see that it's got a fair bit of dust build up in both of the fans. So I'm gonna try and get those cleaned out today. Uh, also, you wanna check, i just lift this up, you wanna check these fins as well. Make sure there's no build up in there. Mine are looking pretty good. Um, but that's just something else to check while you're there. But yeah, this is the main thing you wanna look at because Basically, if your fans get clogged up, 
they're not going to perform as well as they can. And if they don't perform as well as they can, the temperatures are going to rise. And then you're basically going to get thermal throttling, which is basically where you're going to, your laptop's going to reduce the performance just to try and keep itself cool. So, um, yeah, we want to get these cleaned out. So what I'm going to try and use is this little air duster. So basically, it's just compressed air in a little bottle. And that's it. I've never used one before, so I'm going to give it a go, see if it's any good. And you've got this little straw just to go on the end, which I'll do when I've got two hands. So, yeah, we'll get that going and see if, it, see if it's good. And uh, we'll try and get this thing cleaned. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this one-handed. So the first thing you want to do with this is just spray it upright because you're not meant to shake it before you do it. Look. So the other thing what you want to do is try and blow out these little vents. Try and give them a clean as well. I must admit, this little uh, this little can, they're not very powerful, but if you get pretty close, it does it does move the dust. Okay, so I spent a couple of minutes giving it a good clean out, and as you can see, the fans are looking a lot more dust free. And then again, with the vents, they're a lot clearer. Now, you might, be, you might be just thinking, why can't I just wipe all this down? Now, <clears throat> this is pretty important. You cannot touch the motherboard or any of the components with either cloths or wipes. Cloths, again, static, doesn't really agree with motherboards. So you're best off just not touching any of that stuff. Um, that's, why, that's why these sort of little cans of compressed air are the, the best thing to do, really, because... You risk damaging stuff and you really don't want to do that so you can't really touch any of the components whatsoever so that's why we've got to use the cam and um, that particular one isn't that powerful but I mean I did spend a few minutes you know trying to clean it out and there you go that's focused a bit better and as you see there's a lot less dust in there now this was just after six months so just imagine there we go just imagine what it would be like, you know, a couple of years without any cleaning. And in fact, I have actually got a PC tower. Just It's an empty one, but it's got the fans in it sat in my back cupboard. So I'll just grab that and show you what, what they can look like. Right, so this is the old PC case I've got. So you'll get my point. Look at this fan, all that dust on there. So this is what happens after a long time, all the build-up of dust, and just, I don't even know what that is, but yeah. So all this dust just slows down the airflow, and if you've only got a couple of fans calling your PC and they're as clogged up as that with dust, they're really going to reduce the airflow and things can get hot and you lose performance. Like on the back here, this is a different type of, so this is a removable filter. So you can actually slide these up. So if you've got a PC, this might be what you've got on yours. So it's... Okay, again, this is hard to do with one hand. There you go. So it's good that you can take these up so you can clean that out. And then obviously look behind it. Lovely. So yeah, it is important to clean your PC, your laptop. Um, I'm not even going to bother cleaning this because it's just going to go back in a dusty cupboard. But you guys get my point. Okay, so that's going to be about it for this video. Um, I hope it's helped some of you guys out. Um, just make sure when you're taking the back off that it's turned off and that you try your best not to touch any of the components. Um, I don't want you guys damaging your PCs, laptops when you're after, so just be careful with that sort of stuff. Um, the, f the front and the back there, easy enough. You don't have to worry too much about that. So just be careful if you're doing that. And um, yeah, that's going to be about it for this video. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed it uh like i always say look after yourselves and i will see you in the next video talking about the next video i think we're going to be doing the hard drive stuff hard drive stuff the hard drive and um, the one i've got in there now is tiny so i'm probably going to get a bigger better one so i can store more stuff 
and then I'll show you guys how to do all that as well. So that's going to be in the next laptop video. So until next time, I will see you guys later.